As it stands now, USS Seawolf is dangerously low on weapons. However, she was assigned to intercept a group of PLAN tankers and tenders in the Yellow Sea. Destroying the PLAN's ability to resupply is essential to break their power at sea. Seawolf was quickly moving in the Yellow Sea when Sonar picked up something submerged, a new contact bearing 269 degrees. We have been intercepted. USS Seawolf has been intercepted. First things first, we need to reduce speed. We were booking it to the Yellow Sea at a speed of 20 knots. We are in kind of a tricky situation here, primarily because, there we go, we have a contact, Sierra 1. We are in a relatively tricky situation, primarily due to the fact that uh, we don't have too many torpedoes. We have four torpedoes available. Hopefully there is only one sub out here. And of course there would not be just one. We have two. So I'm firing at least two torpedoes today. We could disengage three. It is possible that not all of these contacts are submerged contacts. Okay. We're going to click through. I have a feeling this is a freighter or a trawler or something. Interesting. LST. Con sonar, Sierra One. Really? Is classified as merchant. Okay. Uh, peculiar for sure. See you. Con trawler. Sonar, Sierra Three is classified as merchant. This could be a submerged contact. Ming. Romeo. Con sonar. Sierra. Bolt. Come right to. Come right three, to her. Three, five. Helm I. Hi. This is so strange to me. I mean, yeah, it is possible an LST is operating out here. But just by itself. Hmm. And it looks like we were intercepted by an enemy submarine. This is probably something funky as well. Sonar, Sierra 3 is classified okay, Sierra 3 is a Romeo. Submarine. We have two Romeos out here. Sierra 5 may be a whale. Or something, some sort of biologic, yeah, a freighter. Sonar, Sierra and I'm pretty sure Sierra 2 present. here. Sierra 1, I misidentified it. It is a troop transport though. I will probably launch a TASM at it. Weapons. Okay, I have six. I can spare them. Good. The primary targets, though, are these Romeos. Let's change course. New heading 294. I want to move into the Romeo's baffles. Looks like she's operating at around 200 feet here. Now, the question, the real question is, Sierra 4, is it a Romeo as well? Sierra 2, this is some sort of merchant ship. I'd say... Let's recognize it as such. Go to the rear category. It looks like the crew is already doing TMA on it. Solution's looking good. Sonar, I'll help him Sierra out there. Two is classified as merchant. All right, increase speed to ten knots. Make turns for one zero nine. Tube one set up to I. fire. Now this Con Sierra Four up here is four. the problem. One, if she turns zero, north, we'll have nine. a pretty good shot to fire. I'm going to move into Sierra 3's baffles first, though. The Romeo has just gone active. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's see. Was it just a single ping? It was Sierra 3 that went active here. Work for ultra quiet. For ultra quiet. Let's see, and just make like a hole in the water. Hopefully she doesn't pick us up and doesn't ping again. It's okay if she's suspicious, we just don't want her to launch. CR4 is heading just east here. Looks like both subs took up a eastern course, but now Sierra 3 is turning to sniff around. She's moving at 10 knots, let's see. Not a second ping. If she does ping again, we will fire. She will absolutely pick us up if she goes active. We could stop. I'll stop. Yeah, let's try that. 
zero knots. Maneuvering eyes. And drop down to 450 Engine feet. Four, five, zero, Floor is at 490 five. feet here, and so we'll cut it real close. We are hugging the seafloor here. So far, there has not been a second ping. The Romeo is curious, though. She is still heading this way. Unfortunately, there's no layer. Sea conditions are pretty good, all things considered. I have two one setups. Sierra 4 is just still continuing on. Like nothing has happened, so Sierra 3 is the main threat. I would like to get into a position to fire at both submerged contacts while being in both of their baffles, but that may be kind of difficult. Oh, is the Romeo turning? It looks like she may actually be turning. No, she's going really slow now. She's listening. Yeah, she was racing at around 10 knots here, and now she is what, dropped down to three. Yeah, just crawling. Up close to the surface though, so there is that. Let's adjust tube one. The Romeo has turned away. Well, she's working on turning away. She's up to eight knots now. We are going to wait until we are in her baffles. We are going to shoot, obviously, tube one. Let's try to change course just a little bit. That way I can fire off from the port side of the boat and hopefully kind of mask our launch. Let's make turns for one knot. Make turns for one knot. Maneuvering eye. There we go. I'm going to be really quiet here make sure we do not run aground. Also, another thing we need to keep in consideration, we only have 14 noisemakers left. I do want to avoid expending those, if possible, because who knows what our actual mission objective has in store for us. Okay, should be in her baffles relatively soon if she continues to turn. It looks like she may have steadied up on a heading of 350. Hard to tell. Oh, it looks like she may zigzag and turn back south. We'll see. Seawolf is going to start coming up just a little bit and we are probably going to increase our speed. Let's start moving at five knots as well. Make turns for five knots. And come up to 350 three, feet, five, I think is a good five. idea. So it doesn't look like the Romeo is going to turn sharp enough for me to actually fire in her baffles. Okay, that's fine. That being said, we are going to still move into her baffles to avoid being fired upon ourselves. I am not worried about striking Sierra 1 later. Phasms have a very long range, so we'll be able to sink her once we have eliminated our two submerged friends. Now seems to be our chance to fire. Sierra 3 is on the surface. Okay, well, you know what we have to do. Come up, come up to 50, 50 feet, please. Zero feet, die by. She surfaced. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, well, in that case... <laughs> uh, tube number five will be our weapon of choice here. I could probably shoot... Uh, I think we actually have to be above 60 feet to fire. We'll find out. Or at least 100 and or so feet. Yep, yeah, okay, 66 feet. That's right, for the TASMs. Okay, well, keep coming up. This is going to be glorious. Okay, we regained contact on Sierra 4. She is still submerged. So this is going to be nice and loud <laughs> uh, for her. That being said, I can't pass up such an opportunity to destroy a diesel electric submarine on the surface with an anti-ship missile. I am not going to let this opportunity pass me by. Okay, should be fine. What's our depth coming up? Passing 81 feet. We have a very good solution on Sierra 3 as well. And you know what, while I'm at it, I will also hit Sierra 1. Oh no. 
She is too close to Caught. shoot Tasms. Fire inside minimum range. Okay, well, now we will just wait for her to get further away. Uh, do I have weapons? Any harpoons? Negative. No harpoons. All right, well, we will just wait then. Well, the opportunity has passed me by. The Romeo has submerged. This one is submerged. Well, the good news is we are almost in her baffle, so we will move to fire oh, there. Two, zero, three, nine, uh, oh, got nine. close, but no cigar. We will fire a Mark 48 at both of our friends. Honestly, I could probably see our three. We're in her baffles. We're in both of their baffles now, somehow. Okay. Well, in that case, time to fire tube one. Off tube in that one, direction. All right, tube one away. Tube two. Shoot tube two. Aye, sir. Two torpedoes away. We are going to have both torpedoes run up north a little bit and then turn in to stay in both CR4 and CR3's baffles. Once these two subs are eliminated, we will then engage the transport. And you, my friend, turn north. There we go. Things are looking very good here. Tube 2 is about to activate and destroy Sierra 3. What is her operating depth? She's operating at around 200 feet. Tube 1 is closing in on Sierra 4. Once Sierra 3 is destroyed by this torpedo, then we will have Tube 1 activate and let's race in as quickly as possible to destroy the other contact. This has been pretty clean so far. Neither torpedo has been detected. Both torpedoes uh, managed to stay in target, the target's baffles. There we go. She is going active, but I don't think that is going to save her here. Tube one, go ahead and activate. Zero, eight, five. There we go. Tube's activated. And let's see here. Torpedoes swinging around. Should be able to reacquire the Ming. Yeah, that's a dead sub right there. Weapon, Weapon acquired. acquired. Racing in. Gonna hit right underneath the conning tower, it looks like. Con Impact. There we go. Zero, One Romeo three, destroyed. Bearing zero, eight, six. Contact and ring. now, Tube 1 is racing to CR4, and the, neither submarine has counterfired. Which is nice. I don't have to uh, <laughs> don't have to use any of my noisemakers or my mosses. How many mosses do I even have? I have just one. Glad I haven't used it. I'm honestly surprised. Com, fire control, weapon acquired. Uh, com sub pack. Then it sent us back to Guam to rearm. That's okay. We'll make a do with what we have. Somehow, I'll probably. Honestly, if I can take out the tankers and tenders with just Tasms, that may be the way I go. Uh, because I want to save at least one Mark 48, preferably two for self-defense. Because it is a long, long way to Guam. Here we go. CSR4. Impact. Both torpedoes Sierra hit pretty four. much in the same Flat place. Bearing. Okay, that is two more diesel electric submarines destroyed. It is TASM time. Shoot. Shoot 2-5. There it goes. And it is steering towards the target. Have fun with that, Sierra 1. Let's begin reloading the remainder of our TASMs. We have five. We will utilize five. Tasm is racing in towards the transport ship and it is guiding. Hopefully that is the right ship and not some just random trawler. It does indeed look like the correct vessel, however. There we go. Impact. Contact. Sierra one. Last bearing. Alright, see you later, Sierra One. Contact breaking up. That's another one down for the count. We are just racking up tonnage out here.
We are now clear to leave the engagement area, so we will do that. Two Romeo sunk, total tonnage, 3,660. Continue. Yeah, I am well aware of that fact. We are going to continue on towards the Yellow Sea. We have made contact with our mission objective, I think and hope. We have multiple contacts way out here. Let's see. Raise ESM. It looks like they're kind of out of Raise the ESM map. our range. There we go. Okay, they can pick up our Lower ESM mass. Not surprising. I'm halfway tempted just to pop radar. Yep, let's do it. Radar Raise up. Radar Okay, get our solutions. There we go. Solutions in. Okay, shooting one at Master 2. 2-5 two away. One at our Jangdao friend. One at our other friend here. I gotta make sure this Luhu gets hit and destroyed. And I'm also hoping that that one... Yeah, okay. They are trying to intercept our Tasms here. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be very, very tricky here. Skimming the surface, racing. Come on, just hit the Luhu that is in the lead. That is the goal. This helicopter is racing in towards us. It doesn't seem like any of these ships have the capability to engage us at the moment. Okay, it looks like... There we go. They're trying to intercept. Uh, only one, and there's there's four more coming. Our primary target is Master 5. Everything else is icing on the cake. Come on, just hit five. Okay. Failed to intercept. Oh my gosh, this bow on profile is perfect as well. It reduces the amount of close-in weapon systems that can engage our TASM. She is deploying chaff, though. Come on. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to use time compression, but you know what? The TASM is going for the main target because of the chaff impact. There we go, target destroyed. And then the Luhu was hit by the second one. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Helicopter's closing in. Let's shoot at Master 4. Get that out of here. Okay, and now it's time to shoot a moss over shoot that way, lower radar, fast. retract the tow array, increase speed to 15 or so knots, and sonar. let's get the heck out of here. What is the depth? The depth that upset? 323 feet. Not a whole lot to play with. Con sonar lost contact. All right, we got to start cav four. stop cavitating. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. Okay, we have expended everything. That actually went really well. I'm going to be honest. Primary objective taken Con care of. Sonar, One no ship cavitating. destroyed. Let's take a look at our TASM. Looking good. Luhu, the way the chaff worked in our favor, it does look like they were able to intercept one of our TASMs. The chaff did obviously work in our favor, the Luhu's chaff, because... It dodged the Luhu and then went towards Master 5, which again, primary target. Torpedo has been dropped in the water. Decoy, increase speed, 35 knots. Time to go, time to go. Yeah, I am not surprised by that. Uh, I guess our Moss did not fool this helicopter. Where is she? All right, rightful rudder, level out here. Gosh, we do not have a lot of room to play around with, which is not good. Okay, knuckle, knuckle, knuckle. Okay, threw it off. Keep turning. Avoid running aground. Lots of things to keep our eyes out on. There we go, at 200. Second torpedo in the water. Bearing, three, one, eight. Uh, okay. All right, and don't scare me like that. Okay, it's going off towards the moss. Reduce speed, 10 knots. Con sonar, no longer Phew, okay. Con sonar, Dodge that contact. one. Master four. I Last have a feeling two, our TASM... Contact faded. Yeah, our TASM missed or was intercepted. It is not doing much. Okay, let's come and head south. Come right to one, nine... 
oh continue my. to lurk away. Our goal is to just disengage at this point. Four, one, zero, knots. Well, folks, the enemy torpedoes are gone and uh, the helicopters have left. We are clear to leave the combat area. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, two ships sunk, two escaped. Hopefully that is good enough for sub pack. Good to hear you intercepted and destroyed the enemy replenishment resources. Keep up the good work. There we go. Please send me back to Guam. Navy moves in. U.S. warships and submarines have taken up several new strategic positions, including some around the Yellow Sea in response to significantly reduced Chinese naval activity. Sources close to the Pentagon say that the war is taking a heavy toll on enemy naval operations and that their supply lines continue to be heavily strained. Continue. Oh, and there we have it. Return back to Guam. I do not mind if I do. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.